guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today we are doing an Aldi food shopping haul. This is kind of healthy-ish. There's a couple of new things in here as well that I've seen on their Instagram this morning and sort of inspired me to go there. It's all kind of Mexican themed. So I guess for the next week we're going to have sort of Mexican themed dinners. But I'm going to jump into this and show you what I got. If you're new over here and you just stumbled across my channel, then welcome. My name's Ash, it's lovely to have you here. And I'd love if you would consider subscribing to my channel and sticking around it's completely free just click the subscription button below the video and you'll see more from me in the future so let's jump into it this whole food shopping haul came to about 80 pounds i'm sure but the reason for that is because i got a few things that were a little bit more expensive in there so let's just jump into it and i'll show you what i got in fact there's a couple of things from home bargains as well so i'll point them out when i get to them Okie dokie then, so we're back into it, we're back into school lunches, the kids are back at school nursery, although I only make one pack lunch just for my daughter Ella, so I had to get quite a few little snacky things, but let's just start over here, now these are not from Aldi, these are from Home Bargains, I did get um, block brushes for doing my decking, it desperately needs redone, and I've seen these in Home Bargains, so I'll just show you these couple of things quickly. Um, these were really inexpensive as well, I'm sure these were £1.99 each, so I've got two of those to get the decking done. I then also, weirdly enough, got ID'd for these. I was wondering what I'd bought, but it was these little kind of gardening, um, I don't know how you say that word, but basically little kind of snips for the garden. I've got lots of eucalyptus that grows and it gets a bit wild so I'm going to cut a few stems off and keep it in the kitchen just as a little decoration. And these were £7, they should have been 12 So this is the chicken that I get, it's the chicken breast fillets from Aldi, they are £4.79 per pack. And whenever I get this, it's always perfect. I sometimes find other supermarkets, when you buy chicken and you open it, it smells instantly, even though you've not used it yet and it's not been in your fridge at all. So I always love the Aldi chicken. I also got some mince. We're going to be making some kind of like um, taco shells. So I'll do some mince in the tacos. This is the 5% fat mince because I'm still calorie counting. And on that subject, I got these skinny pork sausages. I'm going to actually crumble these through a pasta dish through the week. And these got a good date on them as well, 26th of April. So this should get us to the end of our week. And then I also got these, which I love having for breakfast or for like a brunch. They are the skinny beefsteak lawn sausages. They are 93 calories per slice. So I normally have one of these on a Warburton thing. You guys know the drill if you've been here before. That's a kind of go-to breakfast for me. I also got eggs. I got these 15 free range eggs. They're all mixed weight. Um, we go through eggs like no one's business. And then I got these as well. So these are kind of more just like sort of last minute need to quickly grab something. So we've got the chicken and prawn paella with chorizo. High in protein, low in fat and low in saturated fat. They're 385 calories per portion and you just microwave them. So these are handy for if we're like in a hurry. So I got a beef and three bean chili and I also got the chicken and prawn paella. Um, I also got some chicken satay skewers. Kids love these and they're a great little addition to their lunch trays that I do. I also got some sweet peppers. I got a sweet potato as well. I'll usually use that for making like sweet potato fries. And then I've been loving these. These are the duck and chicken sushi rolls from Aldi and they're so inexpensive in comparison to other supermarkets. So it's £1.69 for the pack. And I also got the vegetable ones as well. So I got four in total. I've got some pickle tomatoes. These were on sale actually. But what I normally do is throw a whole load of these in a roasting tin along with a cream cheese put it on for around 20 minutes with some olive oil and herbs and then it all kind of mushes down into a gorgeous pasta sauce. So I thought I'll do that maybe with the skinny pork sausages through the week. And then I got some chubbets, which are just like little frubs, aren't they? Um, these are just strawberry flavour, saves any hassle, no fighting over the flavours. And then I also got some shiracha mayo. I actually got the, I think was it the Blue Dragon one the last time? But this is probably my favourite, I think. Um, suitable for vegans, gluten free and free from MSG. But this just pimps up your sandwiches so well. And also, I love this on my scrambled eggs. Don't judge until you've had it, it's so great. So I normally have like a piece of Danish bread with scrambled egg, avocado and a little bit of this over it and it is divine. Let's move on to some yogurts. I got some of these protein yogurts, which I find so filling, 
so unbelievably filling. The date is always fantastic on them. It's always got like a month on each of them. So I got vanilla and I also got passion fruit because these ones are amazing as well. So I got six of those and sometimes I have that with granola, honey and strawberries. I got some of this blissful uh, mint chocolate ice cream. This is 320 calories per full tub. So great now that the weather's getting good. And you know what? I just could not resist these. These are a bit more kind of like luxury, high in calories. These are the specially selected jars. I think they called it farmhouse, yeah, farmhouse yogurt. So that's the Madagascan vanilla flavour. And then I also got lemon and lime. But I was thinking the lemon and lime I could probably do with some granola as more like a kind of key lime pie type thing. Um, just as a nice kind of dessert and plus these jars will be gorgeous once they're finished with I can use these for other things and um, they were $1.99 each so a bit more expensive and I also got these I've not had any of the beanies coffees for ages but this one I'm assuming is like lotus biscuit because it's caramelized biscuit and then this one is coconut delight I also got some strawberries which are going to have date tomorrow how annoying is that I generally speaking don't go by the sell by date I can usually just tell either way with fruit and I also got these which are part of the sort of like um, vegan range. So this is the ready to eat sweet potato pakora. These are lovely through salads. And I also got the Moroccan style falafels. These are also great. It's got chickpeas, red peppers, fruit and spices through it. Really, really nice. And I also got some red seedless grapes. I got some regular coffee just because we're running out. I got some of these little dip it crackers and cheese. Kids absolutely love these. They're great for throwing in lunch boxes or going away for the day. And like I said, we're going to have Mexican nights. So I got the taco kits. So these ones here, we've got the regular taco, the crispy ones, and then we've also got the soft taco shells. Next up, I got loads of different rices. So I got a Mexican style rice, I got basmati rice, and then I got these. These are the Heinz Creations Mexican beans. I was certain they would look good in tacos so again just as I've already said we're going to make quite a lot of these little taco kits these are about 170 I think which is really good it serves three to four it's got eight tacos inside which is great for us you can do them either chicken or whatever and um, I got that one and then we also got the smoky barbecue crunchy ones kids love these as well a bit messy but they do love them and then I got these paper lunch bags I just thought they would be great for days out or even just doing packed lunches. And talking of which, I got lots of Danish bread. This one's actually the lowest calorie per slice that I've found. So it's 52 calories per slice. And I love this so much. It's great for French toast too, because it's got a kind of sweetness to it. I also got sandwich thins. I love these so much. And I got some waffle cones. These are just for doing our mint chocolate ice cream with through the nice weather. I mean, I think it's pretty much snacks, snacks, snacks from now on. I got these ones here. These are little chocolate um, sort of milk bars. Kids love these, you need to keep them in the fridge. I also got some ice party rings, they love these. I got some oven baked crisps, these are more for like me and Fraser. I got some teddy faces, some Cheetos. Oh my God, does that not remind you of your holidays? Cheetos are the best. Um, I also got some of these lightly salted tortilla chips because I thought we could do them maybe nachos since that's the other Mexican dish that we've not actually got in this haul. We'll do some nachos and I've also got some of these little like um, animal biscuits. These ones here are not from Aldi, they're from Home Bargains but these are really good and they're low calorie. They're 50 calories per little cake thing and these just remind me of my childhood. I loved them so much when I was growing up. I got some Kinder Chocolate from Aldi, some Milkshake Biscuits, I got some Biscoff Spread because I usually do this with baked oats and I put a little bit of Biscoff Spread on top and I got some Panel Chocolates, these are great for just throwing in your bag when you're going out with the kids and I also got these rice cakes, yogurt covered rice cakes and I think the last thing I got in this was Fruit Smiles from Home Bargains, they're not from Aldi kids again love these just handy for throwing in our bags and going out so guys thank you so much for watching and getting to the end if you would like to watch other videos like this i will list all my food shopping hauls below and if you want to see my recent what i ate in a day then i'll link that below as well i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you really soon bye guys